Candidates are beginning to announce their intentions to enter the conservative leadership race because, after all, who doesn't want to be the next Andrew Scheer? So far, only one caucus member and only one woman have entered the race, and they're the same person, and that person joins me now. Please welcome the MP for Sarnia Lambton, conservative leadership hopeful, Marilyn Gladue. <laughs> Hello, Hi, Marilyn. Thanks Hello for there. doing this. Very exciting. Um, you want to be the prime minister, but is this really the time for Canada to have a prime minister who can't grow a beard? I think so. I think Canadians are ready for this. Uh, we need a strong leader, and uh, there's lots of tough issues to solve. And I've got 32 years of global business experience. I think I could do it. Now, you're the party's health critic, so let me ask you, how healthy is the Conservative Party? Well, I would say that, you know, they're on life support. That's a good slogan. Vote Conservative, we're dying. <laughs> you have faith. I like that. Now, where did Andrew Scheer go wrong? Was it when he showed up? Seriously, Mark, I mean, he did grow the vote and, and we did increase in seats, so I think there's a life there yet. He had a, a bit of a hard time in the last election towards the end of it, so let's go down the Conservative Party leader implosion checklist. I'm going to ask you a few questions that Andrew Scheer had trouble answering, and let's see how, uh, how you do, okay? You're a chemical okay. engineer. Do you believe in Correct. climate change? Yes, I do. And I have a great plan to help solve climate change for the world. LGBTQ rights, what about that? Would you march at a pride parade? Absolutely, and we're going to get that chance uh, June 27th because the conservative uh, uh, voting day is on Pride weekend. Where do you stand on a woman's right to choose? Well, I think we need to stand up for the rights and freedoms of all Canadians. We know 77% of Canadians want abortion services available, and in order for them to have their rights and freedoms, those services have to be available. All right, you're doing a lot better than Andrew so far. Okay. <laughs> I have one more question for you. It's a tough question that divides Canadians. Who should be on the new $5 bill? Well, you know, there are people that think I should be on the new $5 bill, but... Uh, and that's where you lost them. You know? <laughs> I would have accepted Terry Fox or Neil Peart. Um, <laughs> you have a black belt in Taekwondo? Indeed. Okay, I have a two-part follow-up. Could you beat the Prime Minister in an election, and could you just beat him up? <laughs> well, uh, yes and yes. I first noticed you as a poet in the House of Commons. Have a look at this. The grits will allow four pot plants in each dwelling, regardless of how bad each place will be smelling. We hope that the Senate will do its true deed and keep our great country safe from all the weed. Now I have only one burning question. Have you gotten high yet? You know, I'm high on life, Mark. I don't need weed. Oh, come on, Marilyn. Look, you want Andrew Shear's job. If you're not high, I don't know who is. <laughs> you should try it. Now, okay. We saw you do the poem. I want another poem. Give me some lines on why you should be the next leader of the Conservative Party. All right, here it is. I thought the election last year would result in PM Andrew Scheer. Though we got some more seats and more votes than Jagmeet, our victory did not appear. We have to do better this time. And that is the point of this rhyme. For the good of North True, we need to be blue. But how to achieve this steep climb? We need a new policy passion with a balance of social compassion. An economy growing with less money owing and less negative party bashing. A strong, able leader we need to increase votes for us is the deed. We're certainly frantic to win the Atlantic. GTA and Quebec we must lead. So the qualifications are these. Some real world experience, please. Some time as MP and some personality. We'll win party votes in a breeze. So that's why I've joined in the race and agreed to this ludicrous pace to come with solutions for health and pollution and to serve this great nation with grace. There you go, Marilyn Gladue, the conservative Drake. Good night. Thanks, Mark. Awesome. Thank you, Marilyn.